How you doing everybody? Um, on my way to work, um, probably most of you don't know, I work in healthcare, um, look after people with learning disabilities and can be quite challenging at this time our main aim is social inclusion and getting people into the community and obviously assist them in their own home with personal care and how to cope with paying their bills and look after a house so today basically is like going against everything that meant to do to be no social inclusion it's going to be difficult keeping everyone apart so I just thought I would do a different type of video than flying drones or taking pictures and I'm getting it's 25 hour shift I'm doing um, so I'll be in, there's three, three blocks of six apartments and we have nine tenants in total. So I'm a supervisor in the place, there's two other staff working today. So we need to work out what's best for separating everyone, keeping everyone safe, as well as trying to continue doing everything as normal as possible. Um, I will, throughout the next day, I'll take time, set time aside and come back and discuss maybe what things are changing, what need to what I need to put in place and try and try and see how normal we can keep things. It's gonna be really difficult and the longer this goes on and the more people are in isolation the more difficult it becomes as I'm sure you're aware it's hard enough trying to explain to people that we need to isolate and the dangers of being in group settings so trying to explain all this to someone with a learning disability can be a bit more challenging so stick with me and I'll post another video probably as this goes on um, try and keep everyone up to date and it's going to be a difficult time um, I am sort of concerned a few of the tenants can't go into details. Some of them do have underlying health problems and some are above the 70 years old so concerned for their health and with me and the other staff coming and going trying to keep them as safe as possible. So see you all again soon. I'll drop by and add another bit into the video. Bye. I just thought I'd do a bit of an update. Um, in work and one of the pharmacies that we use that would deliver the medication, they got in touch and couldn't get 
one of the medications delivered so I've had to go out and get it myself um, what I did notice was small there's a I wouldn't even call it a town it's like a street with shops on it um, the amount of people about all just going about their daily business crowds shops I don't know whether people are taking this serious it doesn't seem that way but as long as I stay away from the people I really can't understand why everyone isn't staying in but different people have different ideas about being isolated and trying to stay safe but I honestly don't think a lot of people are actually getting how serious this will be so that's that part done I'm on my way back now um, I'm still baffled by the amount of people all congregating in shops I even noticed hairdressers open strange but there you go so I'll check back in again soon so I'm back a bit later on um, things today have went according to plan I suppose only main differences at the minute is we are doing a lot more cleaning than what we usually do and we usually do quite a lot um, just making sure all the surfaces, handles, everything's cleaned after we're touching them. Oh, it's endless. Um, everyone here's good health at the minute. Um, day centres are still open, and on Monday, the majority of the people here will be going to day centres. Uh, don't think that's a good move I think they really need to shut some of the uh, people that would have underlying health problems or the ones that are in the age bracket are staying at home for obvious reasons but I still find it a bit strange that everyone else is going um, apart from that not a terrible lot else it's just an average well it's not really an average day we're stuck at home really there's been no trips out anywhere we're not really doing anything that we normally do um, staff are going to the shop on their own rather than the service user going to the shops and putting themselves at any extra risk it does the more I think about it the more risk there is to ourselves not only are we in contact with other people in my own personal life I'm having to go to the shop now I work I'm going to shops I'm going out so you're sort of doubling your chances of meeting someone with the virus or whatever and we can see that it is getting more and more every day but um, I think that's all I'll post well, I'm not posting this I'll do it all in one go as one shift I suppose I could take it that's all I'm gonna video tonight um, and then tomorrow when I finish the shift and do handover and stuff I'll do 
Maybe another short bit on the way home. So, thanks for watching. Bye. So, hopefully, as you can see, the sun's up, so it's now Sunday, the 22nd of March. Um, been up from half six this morning. Got everything sorted. Spent the last 45 minutes giving the place another clean. Uh, the next people are in, they come in at uh, 10 o'clock for their shift. So making sure everything's clean and ready. And then I'll do a handover of everything that's happened in the last day. Uh, and then home. And I think as soon as I get home, shower, closing the washing machine, try and keep my family as safe as possible. And today being Mother's Day, I'll have to go and look at my mother through the window. <laughs> so I'm back in again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I'm working in a different block and I start at 8 tomorrow morning until 9 tomorrow night. Uh, I'll try and do a bit of an update tomorrow and I think I'll do a small update. It'll be smaller than this one and I'll do small updates every time that I come on shift and let you know how things are going in the real world I suppose. So that's it. I'm gonna go on do a bit more cleaning, get everything ready and thanks for watching hopefully it's a bit of an insight into what people do in the healthcare There's, it's not just doctors and nurses There's supported living, assisted living old people's well, old people's home, that sounds terrible care homes for the elderly um, people that would get home visits. I'm near sure that that's becoming a bit of a difficulty for a lot of staff. Um, so if you like this, give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll keep everybody posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.